Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another how to install video on the channel today. This one concerns the Rise of Mordor mod, which is a Lord of the Rings mod for Total War Attila. And in the new patch that they have just updated, I believe on July 3rd, they've added in some units for Rohan, which is a new faction, and also have beefed up Mordor's roster, and they've also added some really cool custom siege battles as well. However, the siege maps do require another mod called the RII Buildings mod, so I'm going to show you how to download the Rise of Mordor mod first, and then we will look at the RII Buildings mod. So I'm going to show you how to download both of them. But let's start with the Rise of Mordor. The first thing we need to do with Rise of Mordor is navigate to our Total War Attila data folder and ensure that we have deleted the old Rise of Mordor files. So I've already done that, but I'm going to show you guys where the, the folder actually is. Most often it's in your local C drive. Navigate over to Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, then Total War Attila, Data, and then you should see them somewhere in here. It'll say 0.2.1 Rise of Mordor Alpha. S select both of the files that are there and delete them because we do not want them conflicting with the new Rise of Mordor uh, files that we're going to be putting into the data folder. And then just go ahead and minimize that for now because we'll need to navigate to there later on. And then we're going to go over to moddb.com to the front page here and just in the search tab, start typing in Rise of Mordor. And there we go, it's the first one that pops up. Navigate over to the Files tab. And you can see we have July 3rd, 2019. So we have the new Rise of Mordor Open Alpha Pack 0.2.5. Go ahead and select that. And then take a look at the file size here. You can see it's 694 megabytes. So when you do click Download Now, and it does start in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, you need to make sure that it downloads 694 megabytes in its entirety. If it's any smaller than that, chances are you received an interruption into your internet while you were downloading this, and you'll just have to delete the download and try again. But this should only take about, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, it depends on how fast your internet speed is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video here, and then we'll pick it back up once we have downloaded the files. All right, so now that the Rise of Mordor pack has finished downloading, we just have to navigate to our downloads pack, or our downloads folder, sorry, and find the pack. There it is. And it, you can see if you click on it and then look at the bottom, it tells you the file size, which is 693 megabytes. And that is exactly what we're looking for. It matches perfectly. So if you don't have the three books here, you probably don't have any extraction software. So just download WinRare. It's uh, free. Uh, just go to Google, type in WinRare download, and uh, you can get it for free. And it's uh, fairly quick to install as well. But just double click on that. It should open WinRare. And then you can see the two files are here, which we are going to need to drag over to our folder. So if we go back to our data folder that I had left open, again, it's just um, local C, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Total War Attila, Data. And then we're just going to take these two files and then drag them right over. And it doesn't take too long. It's a pretty small mod. I'm sure as they flesh out the factions, rosters, and add a lot more to it, the mod will get progressively bigger and bigger. But there we go. That's all finished. So we can go ahead and close all of this. So before I go in and show you guys that that's actually working, I do want to show you guys how to download the RII Buildings mod pack. Uh, the Rise of Mortar pack in itself is working right now, so we don't have to do anything else with this. So let's make a cut here, and let's come back when we have the RII Buildings pack up on ModDB. Alright guys, so this part of the tutorial is purely dedicated to the required RII Buildings Models pack. And this is required for all of the custom siege battles that have been added into Rise of Mordor. And I'm going to show you how to find this file because it's actually a little bit hard to find. Uh, there's two ways to find it. If we go to moddb.com here, just to the main page. And if we go to the search bar and start typing in RII Buildings Building Models and then hit enter. If you scroll down, you can see that it's the first one here. It's by Doom Man. So click to open in a new tab. So that's the first way to find it. The second way to find it is if you went over to the Rise of Mordor page or if you still have it open. 
and you navigate over to the files and go to the open alpha 0.2.5. If you expand here, read more, and then scroll down, they mention the needed buildings required pack here. If you click on this link, uh, it will bring you to the RI buildings model pack. So there's two ways to find it there. And all we have to do is hit download now. There we are. And again, it will pop up in the left-hand corner of the screen. You will also need WinRare to extract this pack as well. And this one's going to take a little bit of time. It's about double the size of the Rise of Mordor pack. But before I make a cut here and allow it to finish downloading, one more thing we have to do is to actually go back into the data folder. And then if you guys already have the RRI Building Models pack, you need to delete it so that uh, you have the most up-to-date version. So I've got this one here. I'm going to go ahead and hit delete and get rid of those two files so that it does not conflict. And one more disclaimer before I make a cut, guys. I ran into an issue the other day when I was playing Rise of Mordor with people from my Discord. And let's say that I was hosting a battle and I had the... I had Dooman's uh, RI building models pack in my data folder and I was the host. All the people that have downloaded it from moddb.com will be able to join your game. But those of you who have subbed to it on the Steam Workshop will not be able to join. You can't, like, they're not cross-compatible. So if all of you guys have it uh, subbed on Steam, I mean, that's probably fine. I'm not sure how up-to-date it is. But if one of you has the pack from ModDB and the other one has a pack from Steam, uh, they will not allow you to join each other's game. It's going to say incompatible version. So I would say just unsubscribe from the one on Steam. Just get this one from moddb.com. That way you've come to the same spot for both the Rise of Mordor files and for the RRI building models. And the fact that they did mention it in the Rise of Mordor installation instructions and pointed you to the moddb one, I would just go with that instead of, you know, fighting with the incompatibility issues and the frustrations of trying to get online games. But I'm going to make another little cut here, guys. You can see it'll take about seven minutes for this to install. So go ahead and pause the video here, and we'll be back as soon as it is finished. All right, guys. So finally, the required RI Buildings Models Pack has finished. So let's go ahead back into our Downloads folder. There it is. You can see that it's 1.32 gigabytes, and we have 1.32 gigabytes projected size. So perfect once again. Let's navigate over to our Data folder as well. Again, it's just Local C. Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps Common, Total War Attila Data. And then just double click, open this up, grab, oh, hold on, grab both the files, and then drag them over into the Attila folder, or the Attila Data folder. My bad. And again, it won't take too long, but it is a little bit bigger of a file than the Rise of Mordor, so it should maybe take, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. But as I said, this is only required to play the custom sieges because it's a buildings models pack. So land battles, you don't require this for it to work. It's only for the sieges. And I think like regular sieges, like the vanilla sieges for Total War Attila, if you wanted to play those for Rise of Mordor, you don't need this, but you will need it for the custom ones. So now we can go ahead and close all of this out finally. And oh, look at that. That's perfect and not even planned. There's a Total War... Uh, Rise of Mordor screenshot there, but let's go ahead and launch Total War Attila. And we're going to go over to the Mod Manager, and you can see here is the Rise of Mordor Alpha Pack. I'm just going to deselect everything here. So make sure that you have Enable Out of Date Mod selected. Sometimes there will be a little yellow exclamation point, which will not allow you to select these. So just make sure that you do have that enabled. And then go ahead and select that. And then navigate over to the RI Buildings Models Pack. I'm gonna have to wait for me to cycle through my many different mods. Uh, it's gotta be here somewhere. It's usually a little bit towards the end. There it is, right at the end. So that's the one there, so make sure you have both of them selected. And I'm going to change over, over my recording software now, and then we'll jump into one of the custom battles, because that will prove, A, that the sieges work, so we know that the RI Buildings Models Pack works, and uh, also we'll grab some of the new Rohan units, so we know that the new Rise of Mordor Alpha Pack 2.5 is working as well. So I'll see you in a bit. All 
All right, guys, so you can see that we have loaded into the Rise of Mordor mod. Let's go ahead and jump into that custom siege battle so that you guys can see that it is working. So if you guys go into the City Assault tab and then come down to the selection of the city, any of the ones that have this little gear lever here, this steam gear lever, are the new the new cities or new settlements. So they should all be playable with the new mod. But I'm going to jump into a battle here. Uh, you can see Rohan, it does have some units. It's pretty bare bones as far as their roster goes, but don't fear there will be more added. And for Mordor, they've got an Uruk Throng unit, which is a new heavy infantry unit. And they've also got Uruk Spears, which is a new unit, and Uruk Archers, which is something they desperately needed. The Orc Bow Rabble is just so garbage. So these Uruk Archers are actually a pretty solid shout. So let's go ahead and load into this custom siege, and I'll show you guys that it does indeed work. And there we go, loaded in without a problem. Let's go ahead and start the battle here. And you can see that everything is good to go. Can uh, get all of our towers moving forwards here. Get the ladder moving forwards. Yeah, so unfortunately, Rohan, they do not have any bow infantry. That is something that they will probably require. So you probably won't see too many people playing them in multiplayer battles. But, I mean, for the epic cavalry charges, they, they are the faction of choice. And you can see that the custom city is working without any problems whatsoever. It's a very nice settlement. And we've got the new Mordor units up on the walls here. Actually, they have their Haradrim units up on the walls. But that is absolutely everything for this mod, guys. I hope to see you playing this mod. It's a very good mod and it's highly underrated. Not many people even know about it. So if you do need help with downloading the mod, just leave a comment down below and I will try to help you out as best as I can. And until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.